All right, so we've created our wall, um, curtain wall system with our new panel in here that's justified to the center. And we've um, come in and created a rectangle about where that's going to go, but now we're going to adjust it. So I'm going to come in and I am going to pick this curtain wall panel by the center, so by the panel system, and I'm going to go to move. And the inside of this glass wants to be right here on the inside of that column. So I'm going to left click and move that to there. Then I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to use the align command to get it into place. And let's see, I go to align and I align with that. It will not let me pick the face of the panel. It doesn't see it as an option because it's actually the system that's driving the panel. You cannot have the system follow the panel. The panel must follow the system. So instead of using the align command, I'm going to click on the move and I'm going to select the panel system, right click to finish my selection. And since I picked the panel system, I can now pick any relative point. So I'm just going to pick a point on the outside of the glazing and then move that system to there and the glazing will follow. So I was picking the system and moving the system with base points, not moving the glazing. So now I can come over and let's pick this system. And it looks like I was hoping it would give us some distances from that system to the um, edges of the grid so we could center it, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my annotate and I'm going to go to aligned dimension and I'm going to pick the grid line, left click. Then I'm going to left click on the center of the system. So not the edge of the wall, but the system. And then I'm going to click on the grid. And then I'm going to left click on nothing. And then I'm just going to click this equals. And it's actually going to equal that out in between the two grids. So again, let me control Z on that one. Go to the annotate tab, pick aligned, left click on the grid, left click on the system, left click on the grid, and then left click on nothing. You'll get a little equals here and I'll click it and it will move that in between those two equally. Okay. Now I'm just going to escape a couple of times to stop that command and you can now delete this and it will give you a message. It'll say a dimension that has a constraint on it is being deleted. Would you like to keep that constraint? And you, if you say OK, it will always keep that equally. If you were to move the column, the grids, then that would always be in the center. I'm just going to go ahead and unconstrain it. So now it's free to move. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So aligned from here, making sure I'm getting the system to here, and then equals and it's going to equal those out. I'm going to delete it and unconstrain. Right, so that very quickly, sometimes that's much more quick than trying to put in reference planes and get it exact. Now the last thing we're going to do for this part is we're going to take a look at the way that these are joined together. They're actually overlapping and we would like them to butt. And the reason they're overlapping is because all walls, including curtain walls, have a join, a default join option. So if I come over and let's take a look and see if we have any other options than this join here. If I go to the modify, there's a wall join. And if I hover over this, the curtain walls do not have an option to go in and adjust that wall join. So we will have to go in and disallow the joining here and move them into place. So if I select the system, it gives me a little blue dot at the end, which allows me to drag that wall in. But what I want to do is right click on that little dot and disallow the join. And now if I come in and pick that, you'll get a little T shaped thing, which means the join has been disallowed. I'm going to do the same thing to the other wall over here. Oh, let's see. Let's see if it did it to, oh, now it's selecting the same wall because the end of that wall system. So I want to make sure I select that wall and disallow the join. So you may have to back off a little bit and do that. So disallow join. Now if I come in, I can take this and move that little dot to there and I can take this whoop, 
and then I can select this system and I can try to move that one but it just doesn't want to align to this outside wall so I'm going to use my align command and I'm going to align I'm going to tap until I get that outside wall and then I'm going to select the end of the wall system and it's going to move it and I can lock it if I want to I'm going to we're going to um, stay unconstrained for the moment but if you were to lock this and move that it would move along with it all right and then I'm just going to go around and do that to the others so again selecting the wall system right clicking disallow join do the same thing for this system making sure you back off far enough to get the wall system that's horizontal and not the end of the vertical wall disallow join and then coming in and just moving these guys into place and I'll use the align tapping my tab key and the end of that and then you can see if I come in on this one if I pick that and move it right it'll move it off but if I get close it'll snap back in there so that's why we're disallowing that join so I'm going to pick that disallow the join and then again pick that and disallow the join and move them into place and you can do that for the rest for the other corner as well